what goes back yeah you this is question number three of the top five questions i get from small churches now it's apropos that we understand that where sound comes from so it's a little lesson on how to make your live stream more lively hmm. want to learn something let's go Welcome to Midweek Service provided by the Church Sound Podcast. This is our version of Tech News with your host, Prentice Thompson. Have you ever wondered, how do I mic a drum set or what about getting audio to my live stream? We're here for you. This is Tech News, new product reviews, and everything you need to know about what you need to know. Welcome to Midweek Service. So... I've heard a lot of live stream um, services online, and it's it's very truncated in the sense that all you hear is exactly what you're looking at, not the liveliness of it. So how do you do that? And I think the key thing to note is that whatever you are, whatever you want to hear, you have to send it there. So for example, I need to send more kick drum. So there's a mic for the kick drum, right? Right. Okay. How about the the lead singer, right? The whoever's doing praise and worship, you know, there's a microphone for that person. Okay, so that microphone, and you turn that microphone up, right? Great. How about the guitarist or the bass? Oh, look, 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 golly gee, there's a bass channel that says bass. I could turn it up or down on my production feed. But what you need to have is a mic for your audience or mics placed for your audience. Yeah. Now, the key thing about this is that you don't send this mic signal to the house. You only send it to your production feed or your live stream, whatever you whatever you whatever you call it at your church. So there are a couple of microphones that you can use now. Now, I'm using on this recording a shotgun microphone. A shotgun microphone is a very directional microphone that can be that where its energy comes from the very tip of the microphone and it rejects sound on the sides. So if you're in a small congregation, um, you can use this to kind of to, to, to capture the room, but also reject a lot of chatter. So what you want to do is have it about three feet above your crowd. Um, and then kind of point it at the sides. Another type of microphone you can use is a small condenser microphone. Now, because of its polar pattern, meaning that it's going to be a cardioid, which means it's rejection from the rear of the rear of the microphone, it's very good and it's, it's wider than the the pattern is wider than a shotgun microphone. So that's another choice. But I found something interesting about this third choice. It's a measurement microphone. A measurement microphone that is omnidirectional. Now, this is really cool if you want to, you have a bigger space, not a little, I see a small church, but you have a little bit more space in the rear. So, the placement could be, you can have two shotgun mics in the front and one omnidirectional in the back. Omnidirectional means 360 degrees. It's picking up the microphone pattern 360 degrees. So, you have a good balance. And now, if you throw your cans on and you listen, you can adjust how much sound is being intermingled with the actual performance on stage. Now, this is great because you're able to make the listener or the person who's viewing online as if they're in the space with you. You hear the people singing along. You know, churches are now opening up now, so now you're going to have people in the audience, in the crowd, and people in the, people in the pews. So this is a great thing to use for your live stream. So what you want to do is... Invest in some of these microphones, either a shotgun microphone, a small condenser microphone, or a measurement microphone, which is a different choice, but it could fill the bill. You can take these microphones and spot them in different places. I'll probably say the last one is, is a hanging choir mic. You can hang choir mics over the audience and use that as well. So I hope this answers the question, um, how can I make my live stream more lively? There you have it. And I'm going to say it like I always say. What do I say? I will see you. You. 
in the Matrix.